explain. It just seems like there's more pressure on the girl. The girl has to be thin. The girl has to land the throws. The girl has to be in the air. You know, like, it, I right. think, it, you know, it right. takes a strong lioness, you know. It to, takes a strong girl, and maybe that's why we see some of these girls quitting, mm -hmm. running away from it. We, we just saw it with a pair team, mm -hmm. um, and a very good pair team. I, you know, I don't, I don't know the details on what happened, but it's, yeah, it, it, it's pressure. But that you got to know that going into being a pair skater, that's just part, that's, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. That's part of being a team. And you, you kind of can't get around that. You got to, you got to be tough. You got to be tough. You talked about a pair team just splitting. And right before mm -hmm. that, um, we know that you mentored uh, Keanu McLaughlin and Rockney Brubaker. And do you think... You know, they had an agent before they ever made an Olympic team. And do you think that, you know, there's a problem with agents in the sport where, you know, they were up for a Coca-Cola endorsement before they had made the Olympic team and it had really seen um, like things were starting to fall apart and the endorsements were starting, that they're supposed right. to make the Olympics, they're supposed to be our big hope to, you know, write right pair skating. And it seemed like... It backfired. From an outside. Yeah. It seemed like it crumbling, you know. Yeah. Well, we talked mm -hmm. about that earlier, where they have you winning before you even get there. I mean, they, they weren't even on the Olympic team. Yes, I, I absolutely, I, I, I locked into that, and I said, something's wrong here, and someone needs to pull back and, and, and let them. I, I saw it taking away from their training. Mm -hmm. um, and mentally, it's, you know, I think it was overwhelming for I, I, maybe especially Kiana. I'm not sure. I don't, you know, I don't know her that well. And I only spent a day with them in Colorado. So it wasn't really a mentor. I was just, you know, I was there to support them. I went there as a friend to give them advice, to really talk to them and, and their coach. Um, but, yeah, I think they did way too much before the fact. And look what happened. Um, I know it's hard to say no to, you know, these big sponsors because you want them later on in your professional career. So it's, you know, there's, there's a way to balance it and there's a way to know, or you should know when it's taking away from your training. So I was sorry, um, because I love, I love the, the pair team of Kiana and Rockney. I thought they were wonderful and, and on their way. And it just, that was, that was a, it was so sad for me when it didn't happen. And then, you know, Rockney and, and Mary Beth, again, it's like, oh my gosh, something's got to change. But that's, that's the USFS. Talk to us. Talk mm -hmm. to One World, who held their title for five years. Reach out to the, you know, your past. And they just, they don't, they don't, they don't. So and we have to offer. Yeah, something I think was, I uh, from that, same podcast that you referenced earlier, Dave, that you said that I really found was interesting. When you and Randy got fifth at the Olympics in 1976, you said you were kind of happy, that you felt like it was good, that you didn't have this medal performance your first time, that you came up gradually. And we've seen many of these teams, I think that some of the teams that you spoke of, it seems yeah. like their first or second season together, they're meddling at nationals. They're going on and they're competing internationally. And I even think of single skater like uh, Naomi Nuri Nam in 1999 where she got second her first senior nationals, which is just unbelievable. And then the next season, she was injured and wasn't able to repeat that. And some of the pairs team that seemed they break up. Do you think there's a question of too much too soon? And what advice would you have for a pair team or any athlete who comes in their first or second year on, on the senior level and medals and suddenly has these endorsements? How can they kind of resolve that feeling of having so much yet still pacing themselves? Well, I think it, it's, that's another great question. Um, I think, that, and, and you mentioned it, um, where the agents get involved, we we had a coach. That was it. We had Mr. Nix. There was no publicist. There was no manager. There was no agent. There wasn't. You know, we didn't have that team. And now everyone has an agent, and everyone has their people. And it's I think it's a distraction. Um, they don't know what it what it is to be an athlete and 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 to train and to you know, come up the ranks and, and, and compete that, you know, an agent doesn't know this. They, they just, they want the finished product and it is too much too fast. But I think the agents and, and managers are to blame for that. They've got to step back and let these skaters, let these amateur skaters, you know, 
train properly and compete properly without this outside, you know, all the, you know, the Hollywood stuff will come later. I guarantee you if you're good, it'll come later. If you're solid and you've got something really special, it'll come later. But, you know, focus in on your competing. Too many distractions to me. And it, it, it's, it's, we see it in our performances, in, in the skaters' performances. The U.S. skaters, there's too much going on. And some of them look untrained. I see a lot of excuse making. Um, you know, I don't, I don't care if you, I, I don't like hearing, well, I don't know if this is just me. But it's a turn off when I hear about boot, boot problems. It's a turn off when I hear you got a headache or you got the flu or you have this. It's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't. If you're sick, don't compete. If your boots aren't proper, you know, why didn't you get them fixed before you got to Worlds or the Olympics or, or, or whatever? There, there's the excuses. I'm not used to that. We would never, ever, ever back in our day be allowed to say what some of these skaters are saying in their in their interviews coming off it's it's you know they'll make a mistake but then they'll they'll come back with well I'm happy because I you know I did this jump and I'm you know I'm so proud of myself because I did that jump yet they missed this and this you know you had a bad day just say you had a bad day and and move on but it, it's I was talking to a friend of mine Russ the other night about this it's I don't know if it's entitlement or they you know they just don't know any better um, but it takes away, for me, it takes away from what it's all about. You had a bad day. It's okay. You'll go home and train harder and be better the next year. Don't, the excuse making is, is new to me. Uh, and it, it, it's a turn off. It's negative to me. Am I being, talk- am I being harsh? Am no, I, being- I think it's, no. I, I remember, I don't want to name the athlete's name, but I was watching a, uh, a competition. I think it was Skate America earlier this season. And this athlete said, well, I need to go fix my nutrition. It was something really outrageous where you think, I had never heard a skater reference that. And this, it was right. a male skater, so usually you don't even, I mean, it was just, and his nutrition seemed fine, but it was almost as if, and I don't want to put words in his mouth or insinuate, right. but as a viewer, right. I thought, own that you didn't skate well. And maybe there is a problem with your nutrition or whatnot, but don't yes. pull these excuses out of a bag, even if they yeah. are, own it and say, there are things I need to work on instead of... Yeah. That's like all. That's said. more that 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 I get because we've all been there. We've all had bad skates, but I would never. Oh my God, Mr. Nix would kill. He would choke us if we said boot problems. Yeah. Boot problems. <laughs> I you know blade problems. First of all, the boots they have now are nothing like we had back when we were skating. I mean, that's so they are so cushy and molded to your foot. So I don't get the whole problem thing, but it's just like you said, Jenny. Own it. Just own it. Mm-hmm. And who, no one's, you know, why are people catching? It's like, well, don't say that. Don't, you know, it's, it's, who's advising the skaters? Is it the agents? Is it the USFS? Is it the coaches saying that's okay to say that? You know, it's, we would never get caught dead. 